Let's say you're Virginia football coach Al Groh. You're finishing up your ninth season at your alma mater. A losing record three of the last four years. And dating back to a really iconic November 2004 game in which the Cavs entered with a 7-1 record. Number nine national ranking. Hosting another top ten team in Miami. You lose the game from that point on. You have a 30-34 and record. That's over almost a five-year period now. Do you need to be asked to step down? Unfortunately, it seems like Al Groh does. And, you know, there's something to me that admires the pluck that it takes to say, you know what, I think I can turn it around. But you look at this year's football team. He knew back in January, certainly back in the spring, that this was going to be a team that was going to struggle to win three or four games. And a lot of us who watch this team regularly said three or four wins maybe is where this team tops out. Seemed even lower when the Cavs opened the season with a loss at home to William & Mary from one double A ranks. Now, to give Groh and his staff credit, they had a three-game winning streak in the middle of the season, and they didn't beat anybody particularly impressive. They beat Indiana, a team that has played some Big Ten, Big Ten teams tough but has not really done anything other than you know, lose to some memorable teams. And then Maryland, a team that has uh, two wins on the season at this point, one of them over a JMU team that, in one double-A football, struggled to a 6-5 and five record. Now, the one that is impressive is the win over UNC, who has since come back to beat Virginia Tech and Miami. So, yeah, three wins, five straight losses following that three-game winning streak, and a game with Virginia Tech this, uh, this weekend, in fact, tomorrow, that uh, appears to be not only the sixth loss in a row for the Cavs this season, but it would be the sixth loss in a row for the Cavs in this series, and it would drop Groh's record to 1-8 and eight against Frank Beamer. And, um, you know, there's no question. There's no question that Al Groh is, is not going to be the football coach come Monday afternoon at the very latest. I'm hearing Sunday that uh, some things are in the works already. But um, whatever the case may be, um, there's the, the two sides of this. You know, nine seasons in, and he's leaving the cupboard as bare as George Welsh inherited back in the early 1980s from Dick Bestwick. And um, I don't know. They wouldn't need to ask me twice maybe to step down. Um, maybe he thought he could do something with this team that he did with the 2007 team, for example, which, when you look back, wasn't any more talented necessarily than this team, just won some games down the stretch. Um, but hopefully, hopefully, Grow will go quietly in the night, and this is not going to be a long, protracted battle, because it could be, with the buyout and with everything else that's associated with it. Uh, it's time for Al Grow to fall on a saber. That's my rant. I'm Chris Graham.